Hi everyone, this is Olsan. Welcome back to another UiPath tutorial with me. Today I will be showing you how to use Q activities in UiPath. We will be reading some Q items from Orchestrator Q and also we will adding some items to the Orchestrator Q at the same time. So for this tutorial I have this Excel file and we are going to add these departments to the Orchestrator Q and then we will be reading them from that queue and maybe we can filter out our main data by using this department info so first of all you have to connect to your orchestrator cloud so mine is here and the under default tenant i am going to create new queue here under shared so maybe i can click here and then click add queue and i can give a name like my queue and click add you don't have to think about these settings right now just write the name of the queue and click add and then we can get back to uipad so first thing that we have to do is to read this departments sheet so let me close this excel file and let me search for read range and i'm going to use this workbook activity so maybe here i can select my file and my sheet name will be departments and I need to delete this range and I need to assign it to the data table which will be maybe DT departments after defining this data table I need to get for each row in data table to be able to get the departments so let me type DT departments and here I am going to add all those department names into this newly created queue so for that I will use add queue item activity as you see it is automatically detecting my orchestrator folder paths which is my personal folder and shared folder but I am not going to use these predefined paths instead of that I will click this one I and I will type shared as a string variable and yeah it is this one and my queue name is also I can select it but instead of that I am going to type it also here so I will type my queue as a string again and here I need to specify what I am going to add to this uh, queue so for that maybe I can type here as a key department and as a value I am going to type this current row and item array and zero to string which will be the first column value of that table so let's try to run this and then see if it is working so let's run it until that point to see the result of that uh, section okay let's check our queue let me refresh this transactions so now as you see I have six transaction item here services sales marketing level human resources and engineering okay so at this point maybe we can try to read these Q items and maybe we can try to filter out our main data set 
by using this department info so for this maybe I can read my excel file once again and this time maybe I can try to read this sheet again but this time I will read a list sheet which contains all of the employee list information so maybe I can read these queue items and then I can filter out the main data set by using it so for this first I need to get queue items okay so here again I will use this one which is shared and here I will use my queue okay and here under advanced options I am going to also create queue items list so for that let me call it queue items to be able to iterate those items and then I will get for each for that here and queue items and here maybe we can get the name of the department first so that let me just type right line and when you try to get that information from this queue item for example for this one you should use this specific data property so for that I will come here current item that specific content and inside that specific content I am going to read department so let me just type this department and to a string so this is my department name from that queue item and then maybe I can use the filter out main data maybe here I can define the variable dt employee list and here I will use filter data table and I will use dt employee list and for the filtered data table maybe I can use filtered employee list and here I will just say column departments will be the equals will be the this one which is current item specific content department so it will dynamically filter out those items with these specific department names and as a last thing maybe I can also type that okay this department has filtered employee list row count to string employee so let me just advanced editor so current item department department has this number of employee so let me click save and then let's try to run it and whenever we get all the queue items we will have all those items inside that queue and we will be able to uh, process them in our for each so let me just run this file the value for arguments is not invalid is not valid okay let me configure here okay let's check the name of that column once again 
So let me just delete that S. Then let's retry. Okay, it finished working. Let's check the output. As you see, it's just get the name of that services from where from these Q items, which is here, specific content and services department has three employees because I know that we have filtered data here and we just type that under this right line. So sales department has seven employee, engineering department has three employee, human resources two and legal is, has one employee and marketing is five employee. So yeah, basically we have added some Q items to the orchestrator and then we get those Q items separately. I think it will be all for this tutorial and hopefully it will be helpful for you and see you in next video. Bye for now. <music>